Look at this banana just sitting on the edge. Oh, I guess I bumped it in. Huh? <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I am your humble narrator, and welcome to the Mims beginning. I don't know if there will be a middle or an end, but I'm definitely enjoying the start of this game. It is developed by Squatting Penguin Studios, has been in development for about three years, and I'm rather enjoying myself. These are the Mims. They're cute little three-eyed creatures that basically wander around and do whatever the hell they feel like. And what they mostly feel like doing is collecting fruit to turn into uh, this yellowy orangey stuff which is known as biomass. So we'll start out with a few basic fruits. The arrows represent which direction the fruit that comes from the plant will be flung. So it is important to place it properly. Right now we're having some weather, and I hope it doesn't turn into a rainstorm. And I'll add a couple fruity trees there. Wonderful. That should serve our needs relatively nicely. Next thing I need to build in order to make use of the fruits that will be flung out from the plants is an extractor, which costs five gems. There's my giant deadly extractor. It's not deadly, unless you jump inside. Most of the items do cost gems, but gems are relatively easy to come by once you have a biolab. But if you don't have a biolab and uh, a spaceport, then you're, you're kind of screwed. Things can get ugly pretty quick. As fruit is flung around, <clears throat> you'll notice that this uh, fruit smell meter is going up. I met the Mims officer. He's a special hero. Uh, different from the other Mims who are mostly the same unless they're guardians. But the smell meter is going up, the fruit smell, and so because of that, caterpillars will start appearing in my garden. Here's a pest down here. And if enough caterpillars come, creature smell, um, or I have enough creatures in my farm, then the the real baddies will start to show up, which is not a nice thing. I'm gonna go ahead and build my biolab now. And the mims kind of wander over once they're done with whatever they're doing, and they will start uh, summoning the lab, I guess is the way to call it. Kind of reminds me of the undead on Warcraft 3. Except a lot cuter. <laughs> I love the little Mims! They regard me as their god, as they should. And I shall make them prosper. Unless I don't. In which case... Oops. You have spells on the right hand side of your screen. That can be used to replenish health and energy. Burn your enemies. Or haste all your Mims. That's fun. Go little Mims! Go! <laughs> Psionic Explosion does damage to foes, uh, Snail Gate slows foes. I'll build a spaceport because more gems, more gems. Right mouse button to click, or to turn. I'll build a spaceport over here. Come little mims! Haste me upon you! Do 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 do. Look at him go. That is so cute. I want a spaceport! Yes, me too! Alright, let's all get a spaceport, guys! So now that my spaceport is built, I can start uh, making things in the bio lab. There's my ship! Spaceport! You first have to fuel the transporter, then you load the animals. There's four different types of animals that you can breed. Oops, my guys are sad. Be happy. It's okay, fellas. Four different types of animals you can breed. Uh, we'll only be doing the chicken, probably, so... The Kono. And I'm gonna fill it up with gas. Even though we don't have any chickens. And this is to start the loading of the transporter, which can only be done when the chickens are adults. And I guess that makes sense. 
Let's see, we can get a wind turbine. And by that point, we should be able to start pumping out some chickens. So, we used to be able to store 150 biomass, and now we can store 300 because I have built another silo. Very sweet. I can upgrade my silo to level 2, which will allow an additional 50 gallons, which is a rather nice thing to do. But at this point, we've got to start building chickens because I don't have any gems left. What presents the difficulty in the game is balancing your biomass and your chickens and all the fruit, but try not to get too much so the predators don't come. It, it offers a really cool dynamic, especially if you're into city building. And it's from an indie studio, which is amazing. You know, I love people that love, love video games enough to sit down and actually make them. So, thank you to Squatting Penguin Studios. This game is absolutely awesome. I'm going to build an armory, or I want to build an armory. So perhaps we can get some, 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 some guardians to beat up these pests. You can also burn the pests if you find a decent selection of them without stuff in the way. Yeah, come over here. Come over here. Oh, I can't cast. It's outside the casting range of my my main tower. Now, as you can see, the wind isn't blowing constantly, so every once in a while my, my station will run out of power, which slows the process of making another uh, chicken. Now that this chicken has an exclamation point above his head, he's fully grown. They do have different stages, like there's a little baby one, and they sprout feathers and stuff like that. And if they eat enough, uh, enough fruit, eventually they will evolve. Which is when you can come over to the spaceport and say, hey, start loading them up. I should make a home, but I need six chickens in order to do it. But that will keep me from having to constantly cast spells in order to keep their energy up. Because they will have a place to rest. And albeit a bit more or a bit less efficient, um, it is also less of a pain in the butt. I need to research a science center so the fruit does not spoil by the time they get down. Which is one of the objectives for this chapter. There is actually a a survival mode as well but that is currently not yet implemented. However, I do look forward to seeing it implemented because I've been having a lot of fun with this game, trying to grow my little mem civilization into into something equivalent to Rome. But it's it's not happened so far. Mostly we just end up with pests everywhere and I've got enough chickens running around that the predator meter is starting to creep up as well. Lovely. The pests do kind of balance out, because the more pests you have, the more fruit they will eat, so less pests will come. But pests also attract the predators, which is the truly troubling part. Get rid of the Spideons using Psy Powers, or send them Guardians. But I don't have enough- oh my god! Oh my god! My poor little Mim! Leave him alone! Oh, your hero died. If there are any chickens ready for transport, please come to the space station now. I'm actually really shocked that a chicken can understand my human language. Or that a mim could understand my human language for that matter. Stop going up the mountain! Jerk. Oh, fueled up and ready to go, Captain. So now we can take off. Bring me back some gems. Goodbye. And now the spaceship is shown along the timeline screen on the bottom where all the pests and uh, predators pop up. So you can plan your biomass hoarding accordingly. Like I said, oh, but he's going to use his house. Goodbye. See you when you're all rested up. Oh, I guess he changed his mind. <laughs> Where are you going? Just gonna wander around and be sad for a little while. Suit yourself. 
Oh, there it goes. Yes! All of the chickens will be mine. We have seven currently running around. Which is a damn fine investment. Look at all of them over here. They're just catching the fruit from these few trees over here. Which is nice. My mims are collecting on this side. The chickens are grazing on this side. Which makes me think that there's some degree of intelligence to the programming. Which is really, really nice to see. Mims don't really breed. The only way that I can get more worker mims um, is to go to my Psy Tower and collect other mims from space. Because apparently there was a giant space explosion and now there's just mims. Mims everywhere floating in space. So I'm going to receive another one at the cost of a gem and 50 biomass. And he screams as he comes to Earth and exits the castle. Okay. And welcome, little guy. He's a little tired from his trip, as you can see by his energy. But he'll be fine, I promise. Oh, we got even more stuff. Did you fuel this up? Put some chickens in there. Here they come to wreck the day. If you could eat chicken every day, I don't understand why you would ever eat fruit. Why? Just why? Oh, and they're all in the transporter, so take off! See you later! Make a couple more chickens. Keep the gems flowing, keep it flowing. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, you guys all loaded in the transporter? Great! See ya! Collect the mims from space. And maybe one more. Because I got crystals like that, son. Discover technology. Hmm? Teach the workers new skills. Fruit free skill for 250. Prevents the decay of carried fruit. Sounds pertinent. I will take it. This is where we stop them. This is where we fight. This is where they die. Sparta. Freedom. And then they blasted all the scorpions. So friends, this has been just one level of the story mode of the Mims Beginning. It's a super fun game, all about playing God and guiding your little alien creatures to a better life. It's very cutesy, but uh, the game has a lot of depth and obviously a lot of thought went into it. A lot of love went into it. And I thank you so much, Squatting Penguin Studios, for bringing this game to life. I've been Brandon Dayton. Your humble narrator. This has been the Mims Beginning. I hope you'll join us for the next Date and Dissects. I give this game a solid 8 out of 10. Great job, guys. See you next time, friends. Bye! -bye!